Something tells me that this cat is going to be very accepting of my peace offering. Want some? Yeah. There you go. This is Allie, and she might possibly be the fattest cat in the world. Okay, I'm dumping you out. Oh God. Jesus Murphy. No. Well, at least she's doing some crunches. This is Allie's first grooming, and boy does she need it. <laughs> Ma'am, you need a diet. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna fit in this thing. Okay, kitty kitty. Nope. Nope. I, I can't even scoop the water, there's no room. At this point, I'm really going to need to invest in a larger kitty bath. You're a stinky feline. Oh, is there a bunch of poop? Ew, look at its butt. <gasps> I'm sorry, kitty, but you have to stay because this is some nasty stuff here. Being so obese, Ali cannot clean herself properly, especially in her back end, so she needed some assistance. Kitty. You really needed this. You were quite nasty. You look like a sumo wrestler. Most pets look smaller when wet, but Allie, on the other hand, looks like a flubbery seal pup. You need a diet. I shaved off her stage five clingers, and then I blow dried her. While most cats tend to run away from the dryer, I don't believe that Allie knows what running is. In order to appreciate Allie's circumference, you must view her from the angle on my lap. It was at this moment that I realized her true calico orb of a fupa. Look at that. So much hair. I de-shed her with the Acri Groomer de-shedding brush, and I'm going to assume that due to Allie's lack of self-grooming, she was shedding several years worth of fur today. I sprayed her down in bubblegum cologne, which is safe for cats and then I ended our session with another peace offering. I know Allie is feeling like a whole new woman. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the abundant Allie. Goodbye.